Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we are looking at another Range Rover Evogue 2.0 Ingenium Diesel with the AdBlue system. Inside the car there you've got the DPF filter is full and the engine management light on. These are the codes I'm going to talk about today. Is a P2BA, P2BA2, NOx Exceedance. Two so here we're under the car here and this is the main cause of that problem there. Block that blue injector. And if we look at the port over here for the AdBlue, there's not even a hole in it. It's just completely block solid. So we're going to use a little pick tool here to uh, clean it out. So now we just fill up our dispenser bottle here with some of this solution and we're going to get it in that hole and clean it out. So we make, we'll get that plugged in there and then we'll pump up our uh, dispenser bottle here. Just pump that in there, fill it with fluid. Okay, so now that's finished. We can uh, now get this all back together. Okay, we're going to start the car up now. So that's the ones you got there engine light and exhaust filter full. This is a dealer. So now we've cleared those codes and we're just holding some revs on the car here just to push all our fluid out and flush it out the system. And we'll just have it dripping out the back end there like that. taking it on a test drive there to make sure the grams of soot are down below where they should be and everything else is where it should be and now that's all fine there so we're gonna press OK and we are finished and that's it so talking about this NOx exceedance the main reason for NOx exceedance can be Either one of two things, the reason you're getting the codes would be the NOx, uh, not the NOx sensors, well you got the uh, oxygen sensors and NOx sensors so they can be faulty but as I've showed you on this video here, one of the main reasons for the NOx exceedance is you're not getting the AdBlue, AdBlue uh, solution go into the exhaust, the AdBlue is what reduces the NOx and without that you're going to have NOx exceedance. So the AdBlue uh, additive solution that goes through the exhaust there, that is, that's what that's used for. It's used to reduce the, the emissions in the exhaust and NOx emissions. And if your injector, the AdBlue injector, and the porthole there, whatever you like to call it, and the exhaust, if that's blocked up, then you're not getting the AdBlue going to reduce the NOx on the system and you're going to get the LED's faults come up. Um, of course, that's the first place to look. There's no point in replacing your NOx sensors um, until you've uh, sorted out that blue system, make sure that it's working. Um, I don't think he's going to have any more issues with this because I've done loads of them and it's always that the AdBlue injector is just blocked up. Uh, but it, there is cases that it can be, obviously you may, may need a new sensor as well in the future but I think that's all sorted for now. We've just taken it on a test drive for 15 miles and it's all perfect. So that's it, we're all done on this one. We'll see you in our next video.